guys um, welcome back if you've not grabbed your coffee grab your coffee and join me for evening of whim goodness um, I've already unboxed the mini I've unboxed the ultra and now I'm gonna do the amp before I continue please guys if you have not subscribed out of the bottom of my heart I'm asking you please be so kind go and do that I'm pushing to get more subscribers to the channel just purely because it does drive the analytics big time to bring new people to the channel and recommend this video so I can grow a lot larger audience doesn't cost you anything but it helps me out a tremendous amount in that sense so please if you like this get a, if you get any info out of this and remember in the comments I'm almost there always there if you ask me a question I will reply to you guaranteed if it does slip through the cracks just comment there again and I will eventually see it but as far to my knowledge very little I've seen somewhere it doesn't give me a notification but now and then I'll go to the messages and just see did I have a look at all of them while I can still keep my hand on them I'm, I'm doing the best that I can so okay let's continue Wim Amp Wim Amplifier Again, the same sort of packaging as the Ultra. There's the Ultra. Here's the Wim Amp. Um, Design Awards 2024, high-res audio, Red Dot winner 2024. I also see you get a Wim Amp Ultra now. I had a look. It looks like the DAC. So it's these are both ESS Sabre DACs, but the DAC on the Ultra is the same as the DAC on that Ultra. So maybe that's why the Wim Amp Ultra just came on to give it a slightly better DAC. Um, I've not seen with the Ultra in stock in South Africa. Maybe we'll get it soon. Um, I do not know. Obviously, there's going to be increased price. So I will compare what these two sound like. Um, and also what this sounds like compared to something um, like the, the SVS Soundbase and the Marantz M1. Um, this is down on power compared to those. Those are 100 watts. This is 60 or 80 watts. I'll put spec on screen again. Well, I'm actually, let's do it like I did all the others. I love the um, websites. Some of the websites like SVS website doesn't give you a lot of helpful information where um, the worm one really does. So let's, I'll put the, um, it is, what's their website name again? Wimhome.com link in description guys go and check it out um, I really hats off to their website so let's quickly compare the Wim Amp and the Wim Amp Pro so um, Wi-Fi okay which one is the Pro okay so the Pro demo so the Pro has Wi-Fi 6 this is Wi-Fi 5 Pro has 5.3, Bluetooth, this has 5. So basically they brought all of that specification over from the Ultra to the Amp Ultra. Um, ESS Sabre, 90.38 on this, 91.8 km2 on this. So again that, that DAC has gone up. So it's basically the DAC that's gone up. The rest to me looks more or less the same the same quad core processor the same ram um, the same interfaces all of that more or less stays the same uh, you know what i wanted to check just the power output quickly but if i remember correctly it was 60 watts um, i'll just put it in the description again so you guys can see um, the power specification but okay let's get to unboxing this I love, I know I say it all the time, but this Apple sort of packaging never gets old. Um, it just feels like you're unboxing something premium. And talking about premium, these are premium, but they don't price premiumly. Um, I just got the Wim stuff today, but I almost think that the Ultra and the Amp price more or less the same at about eight and a half thousand Rand. Um, I'll put it in the description again if I am wrong so you guys can see. But look, oh, I always want to go to the Amp first. Let's go to the Amp first. Packaging is the same as on that. I think the finish, this is a little bit more hefty. Very close. 
very close to the same weight. Let's get this off. I don't want to pull it off. Looks like I'm going to have to. The other one I could slide out nicely. This one I had to completely pull off. Let's just put this back. You guys know how OCD I am by looking after my things. Oh, at the bottom again. Here is, what is this? Oh, it's just a rune and the whim. Get your free 60 day rune trial, guys. So you get a free 60 day rune trial. I'll actually try this. I've not tried rune. And then maybe I can do a video on rune. So I'm going to use that. And then again, your little booklet. Put that away. We have the same gunmetal gray fingerprint magnet you can see on top but again aluminium construction um let's feel the knob is this one metal yeah again like i said in the previous one i use my lips to feel if it's cold and i know it's metal the button feel feels good they feel the same um you don't have a screen on this one you have the light indicators and there would have actually been nice i wonder if they'll bring us one with a screen eventually that will be very cool um i wonder if that's maybe the ultra is there a screen on that one no no it's just that deck that's different um but i can think that they are going to do one of a screen eventually because that is so cool and at the back guys these binding posts are quality for the price again man these guys punch way above their weight everything on here is quality two prompt power hdmi arc usb lan um, optical input subwoofer out and then inputs rcas so you cannot add a power amplifier to this unit so that's the only thing they try and force you to stick to that um so yeah, i think oh, you can see that um the ultra stream is also a bit higher and a bit bigger I must say, for a guy that's only got whim now for the first time, not even having tested this yet, and this is what I always say with the unboxing experience, it does affect how you listen to the product. Because from the get-go, when you open it, it feels premium. It's like driving a new car. If you get to the salesman and the dealer's floor and the whole experience, the interaction, opening the car for the first time, that smell, if it's not there, even if the ride is enjoyable, you've lost about 10% there. So, you know guys, we are playing in a premium world. Give us premium everything. Mm. There goes the cup of coffee. Power cable and voice remote, I am sure, is going to be the same as on the um, Wim Ultra. Yes, there is your voice remote controller. Very basic. Um, let me open it again for the guys that did not watch the previous videos. If you did not, guys, link in description. Please go and watch all of these because they do sort of, I am comparing them head to head. There's the remote, same remote power, voice, back four, volume up and down, play, um, presets, mute. So very cool. I actually thought that these remotes are only because you need to purchase them for the mini so i thought you need to purchase them for all of them but yeah they are included on the higher range units okay let's put that back here's the power cable um then also for the guys thinking why did i not go for the other streamers i actually think that you should just go straight to the ultra um you know the mini has got its place because it's the mini and you can just connect it to a powered speaker uh, you can also do it with the other ones that one is just more suited then from there jumping halfway i just think it's better to just jump full way but if you have to maybe at its stage i'll get one of those units in i just didn't want to buy it with my own money because these this is not sponsored guys all of these products i had to buy today with my own money um yeah so i'm gonna buy the stuff that i think is gonna sell because these are my units that I use to demo and sell. Okay, again, 
HDMI, RCA, optical, self-explanatory, all of those cables are in here. Everything you need is in the box. Very cool that Wim does it. On the Ultra, we got a little optical for the headphones, where on this, there's not. Um, can we do headphones on this one? I'm sure. No, you actually can't. So, unless it's Bluetooth, no plug-in headphones on the amp. Ah, huh. yes. Where on this one there is a jack on the front and there's an adapter if you want to make it bigger. Um, guys, so that is the unboxing. That is the unboxing on all the WIM products I got to get got today. Now time for me to plug them in, enjoy them. And then I will give you the full rundown once I've tested them all. Welcome back everybody on this rainy South African evening. We are experiencing our first rain for the summer. Okay, let's get into the topic at hand. The WIM amp. I actually tested this product before the Ultra Streamer video that's already out. Why I did them the other way around is I wanted to sit down again this evening and experience the WIM amp after I've experienced the WIM Ultra Streamer because I had a few reservations which I couldn't exactly put my finger on which I can do now. So we are going to touch on this unit's pros and its cons. Yes, cons. So this unit is not perfect but we need to keep in mind the price point. So again, I'm going to reference South African rands. Um, you guys can go and look up the dollar price in your own country or whatever your currency is. But the WIM amp in South Africa is 7,800 South African rands. The Ultra Streamer is 8,000, what is it, 8,400 round about there South African rands. So the streamer is more expensive than the amp, which is a streamer and an amplifier on board. That already should tell you the limiting factors of this unit. Um, they are actually coming out, I think it's already out in the States. We should be getting it in about three months. It's called the WIM Amp Ultra. So what that is going to be is the DAX of the Ultra Amp on the WIM Amp. I still don't think that is exactly going to solve the problem. The problem being power. It has a bit of issue on the headspace or headroom. Um, where you, if you listen to, like I was listening now, listening to YouTube, listening to some music on different speakers. But mostly I use the Prime, SGS Prime um, Pinnacles again. I know they are a bit demanding to drive, but I also use some bookshelf speakers. And the unit performs remarkably well. The app integration and all of that is just, well, it's the same app as on all the other units. And that is one of the best, no, that is the best app I have used. So that makes it an ease to use. Where the limit comes in is where you are listening to something, you find yourself listening to 80 to 90% of that unit and then as soon as you push it push it to a hundred percent you get to the limits very very quickly so I would say 80 to 90 max I would not go more than that so in small listening rooms like a bedroom a small listening lounge your PC setup um, then gym if it's a small gym like a garage setup then it's fine as soon as it gets to big rooms, you're going to run into problems. Then you are better going for the Ultra Streamer and an external amplifier. Like I said on the Ultra Streamer video, if they do an Ultra Streamer, same interface, same screen, everything, but give us like 120 watts to 150 watts, let's say 120 watts on tap, proper power, that will be a winner and that is what we need. Coming back to the price, there's nothing but nothing that touches that at the price. Maybe we can look at the Aurelic, but I've always found the Aurelic, 
I don't know. I know they're more or less the same spec. It just the relic. It, it played music and it did all of that, but it didn't didn't tickle my soul. Where this Wim amp, I can really enjoy. I can get behind it until a certain volume level. So if you take that headroom and volume out of the equation, it's a very enjoyable amp, giving you the same sort of frills that you get from all other Wim products, but not to that. You know, if you go to on a scale where it's okay, it's very nice, and damn, I love this. The Ultra Streamer gives me the damn, I love this vibe. Where the Wim app just gives me, this is a good product vibe. It feels good, it looks good. I do miss the screen. Not having the screen and just having the LEDs that sort of illuminate to where the volume is. There you go. Um, it doesn't give me enough information. I love the screen because it gives you a hell of a lot of information. Um, coming at a price, I would rather pay more and get that. Is the Ultra Amp going to solve the problems having the same DAC as on the Ultra Streamer? I don't know. We'll have to wait for that product to come in. So until then, I'm going to hold my reservations and I will brief you guys on that product when it comes. I will still have the normal amp then and I can put them side by side and let you guys experience exactly what the difference is. I really hope they bring us a, um, a WIM amp, a WIM amp, what, what are they going to call it? WIM amp ultra plus, something like that. Just give us more power. We really need the power. So guys, I hope that does explain what I'm feeling towards this thing. Like I always say, I do not listen on paper. I do look at spec. But it doesn't make me make up my mind. I have to listen to a product and it has to take a certain, a certain emotion inside of me. Where I just felt the um, Wim Amp, it doesn't tickle that emotion. It does a good job and it does an admirable job. But it does nothing exceptional. Again, coming back to that Wim App. The app is absolutely remarkable flawless i've not been able to fault it once as you put in the wim amp and you go into the app it just picks up the units connect it run through all the things um it picks up the latency it wants to do room calibration the room calibration is good but it does rob a lot of bass so but you can play around with that i found you know it's not too difficult to do a two channel stereo setup i would just do it by ear Get your speakers tilted in, in your magic triangle, sit there, listen to a few things, go through the PEQs, I mean you have the 11 band equalizer, you can play and make any speaker sound the way you want it. Um, the only thing you can't make up for is the lack of power. But yeah, let's skip past the lack of power. Let me quickly play one of my, the demo I always do, um, and I will go up on, into the volume and then see if you guys with headphones can hear what I am talking about. Let's do that. While we wait for my network to restart, I want to bring you to another point why I might wait for the Wim Amp Ultra. The Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 5 on the Wim Amp. Wi-Fi 6 on the Ultra. Um, it is making a difference in my setup. I'm not testing these with Ethernet and I would always recommend using Ethernet. But I've been using these on Wi-Fi. The Ultra Streamer has been working flawlessly. The Amp, now and then, I need to restart my network like I did now. It's not always keeping a 100% signal. That can also be my mileage in this room. I have a lot of Wi-Fi signals. The stuff like my Apple TV, PlayStation, the stuff that I do hardcore stuff on, that is always Ethernet connected. And Ethernet is the way I would always recommend. But I can't always run them all with Ethernet. So some of the test units I will run with Wi-Fi, like I did on the powered speakers. Um, the same with both of the WIMS, and the same with the Marantz and the SVS sound base. So, so far this has been the only unit to give me some issues. Um, 
just something to keep in mind when you are purchasing and you're going to be limited to Wi-Fi only. Let's go, let's start and I'm going to go up in the volume and you guys can see exactly how far one can push this unit. 50% volume. can see the unit is more than capable it's happy place for me is between 60 and 80 percent volume more than that it can become a bit shouty um, nothing to where the unit shuts off it would distort into high hell and we were driving them with speakers that cost how many times more and they are demanding and it still did the job obviously you can't compare this unit with like the SVS Soundbase and the Marantz. Those are way more powerful and way more capable. But those also cost close and more than 20,000 South African Rand. Where this unit is below 8, 7,000 what? 7,600 or 800 South African Rand. So if you take that into equation, that unit is an absolute bargain. Will I wait for the Ultra? It depends on price. It really does. If the Ultra comes in and it's maybe a thousand or two thousand more, that should be okay. Then I would rather hold out and wait for that. But if it's going to be way more, then this will suffice. I'm more than happy with this unit um, to run in like in my my office or something like that but when it comes to the main listening room i really would like the screen um, and i can't wait for them to eventually bring that out but again we need to take price into equation that streamer is worth well the ultra streamer costs more than than the amp so we'll see when the ultra amp comes in still doesn't have the screen but there should be more control over that power. We should have better DAX. But still, I think this is a bit of a steal. Um, as with all Wim products, uh, that's the one thing I found about their products, is absolute value for money. And using the app for me is the biggest pro, because that app, I'm so used to it now, and it I just, just came to me so quickly, like two weeks of using, and I really know that app now. You can see when a company like Denon or Marantz, which has a lot of money for R&D, when they do an app like the Hios app, it's slowly been getting better to a point where it's good now. Some people still don't like it. I like it. I know how to use it. I was almost raised on Hios. Um, but then if you get something like the Wim, you can see those companies, they sort of, you know, they were born and bred on that sort of platform of doing streaming and music and apps. So it's not like an amplifier company going over to streaming and apps. This is an app company which does what it does and it is slowly moving over to the amplifier world. So, you know, let's get them, give them the benefit of the doubt. 
Um, I think these WIM amps are going to become much, much better in time. As they stand now, not a bad unit. Just make sure that you pair them with a speaker that's not overly demanding on power and that you don't want to blow the walls off because it's not going to do that. It's not what it's made for. Guys, I hope I covered all the bases. I know a few guys have been asking for the WIM amp. Um, where do I rate it? I will rate it a 6 out of 10. Not bad, not overly good, just does what it's meant to do well. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm very excited to get the Ultra Amp in to see what the differences are there. Guys, like always, if you like this video, please share, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and stay safe. I will see you on the next one. The next one, we are going to do something with a WIM again, but different amplification. Stay tuned for that, guys. Cheers. Bye.